Cambodia is a Southeast Asian nation which borders Thailand, Vietnam, Laos, as well as the Gulf of Thailand to the southwest. Their country's largest and capital city is Phnom Penh, with other major cities being Siem Reap, the country's major tourist destination due to the Angkor Wat temples, and Sihanoukville, which is home to Cambodia's largest and only deep water port. Cambodia has a population of approximately 15 million people, with 80% of the population living in rural areas and more than half of the population is under the age of 25. Unfortunately, the young demographic is a result of war and the Cambodian genocide. These events also led to Cambodia lagging in economic growth and infrastructure development during the late 20th century compared to neighbouring countries. However, with political stability for more than 25 years, Cambodia's economy has experienced a period of sustained growth with the country's real GDP growth rate being around 7% per annum for the past five years. The economy, like many other developing nations, is dominated by agriculture. However, there has been significant growth in other areas, including the textile and tourism industry more recently. The country currently doesn't generate income from the mining sector. However, this industry has been made a key area of focus and the government is currently developing legal framework which will be modelled on the West Australian mining legislation. Transport infrastructure has been an area of improvement over the past decade, with significant development of the country's road infrastructure, not only in the cities, but also in rural areas. There are numerous international airports throughout the country, and work is ongoing to improve and expand the country's rail infrastructure, both domestically as well as across borders into neighbouring countries. The Cambodian government actively encourages foreign investment in the country, as 100% foreign ownership of projects is allowed. One of the best examples of this is the hydropower industry, as Chinese companies have spent more than $1.7 billion on the development of six power stations in recent years.